Hello everyone. The whole show lasted 50 minutes, and not two hours as it was before, but it's even better, there were no unnecessary advertisements. As a result, the armadillo wins the mob vote, which, by the way, was unexpected for me. Because in different regions, people voted for different mobs. In my region, the majority voted for crab, but in the voting that I did, the majority voted for the armadillo. I personally voted for the penguin, but I'm not upset. All the mobs were good and deserved to win. Unfortunately, like last year and this year, we have no way to find out the full name of this update. The developers will inform us about it in the future. We were also not told when it will be released, but for some reason I think it will be released in the summer of 2024. An important clarification. What was shown to us during the broadcast is only the part that is already ready for demonstration in snapshots. Firstly, let me tell you about the new structure, the trail chamber. The rooms in this structure are procedurally generated. That is, every time you find this place, you will receive a completely unique experience, like in an abandoned mine or stronghold. Among other things, in this structure, we can find more chests with supplies until the developers have told what can be found in them, but I think it's food, armor, and weapons. Most likely, they will be enchanted. The next thing we can meet in these rooms is the Trial Spawner. This is a new type of regular spawner. It has its own unique mechanics. The Trial Spawner will spawn mobs depending on the number of players nearby. After victory, this spawner gives a reward to each player. It is commensurate with the number of mobs. On the broadcast, we were only shown the loss of emeralds and diamonds. But these are only symbols. Most likely there will be other loot there, much more valuable, similar to a normal spawner. This will also only activate once the player gets close enough to it. Once activated, it releases a huge amount of particles into the air that look like flames. In addition to this, it also emits flame particles around the summoned mobs. The most important thing is that we only saw the call of strays and slimes. Most likely there will be other mobs, but it is important to note that the mob that spawns indicates the blocks located around the spawner. For example, the stray spawner had ice blocks placed, so we could know exactly what kind of mob was waiting for us. I'll add one more important thing. They cannot be destroyed and taken for yourself. More precisely, you can destroy it, but it will take a lot of time. The next unusual block is a copper lamp. Its main function is that it oxidizes over time, resulting in a decrease in brightness. The copper lamp emits light into the surrounding spaces, with the light diminishing with each stage of oxidation. To increase light levels, players can scrape off oxidation using an axe. They can be turned on and off using redstone signals. The next thing I'd like to talk about is Breeze, a new hostile mob that can be found in the trim chamber. It seems to me that this is not even just an ordinary hostile mob. It is a mini-boss. He doesn't just move, he jumps from place to place. His main attacks are explosive air blasts. They are not quite ordinary. The fact is that after a collision with a block, its projectile explodes. This explosion does not damage players or entities, it only pushes them away. At the same time, the environment remains untouched. But if this projectile hits the player directly, then the player will receive damage. His projectiles can create a redstone signal after colliding with a block. This was demonstrated to us using the example of copper hatches which immediately activated after the explosion, and players fell into the resulting hole. He also activated the lever with his projectile. This is truly no ordinary mob. I don't really want to get hung up on each block. There were quite a lot of them. I'll just list them, I'll clarify right away. The names of the blocks are unofficial. We'll find out their names in future snapshots. So, the following blocks were demonstrated. A carved copper block, copper doors, a copper grate, a copper hatch, polished tough. As well as many versions of it, it seems to me that the next thing I will talk about is something incredible. A new block called a crafter. Yes, yes, I'm not confusing anything. This workbench allows you to automatically create blocks using a redstone signal. It also has nine slots, each of which can be locked to prevent items from falling into them. It works like a dispenser. After creating an item, it throws it onto the ground, where the player can pick it up. Right during the broadcast, two developers came up with a fully automated system. Objects fell into it, a redstone signal was given, and then iron swords were created. This is super cool, I really want to try it. I think this will change Minecraft forever. In general, these are all the innovations that are ready to be shown. The developers themselves said that new snapshots will be released in the near future. 
the first snapshot in which new features from Update 1.21 will be experimentally added will be available this week, most likely on Wednesday. This is all that was shown to us in Minecraft Live 2023. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.